This morning you are tasked with snow plow with snow plowing. Wow. <laughs> this morning you are tasked with plowing the line between Norwich and not Norwich. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give up speaking. I think you can read that yourself. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another train simulator video. Uh, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll, we'll pretend I never tried to speak, shall we? Because that didn't end well. It did well, I was like, I speak more read, but you know. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Today, you will notice we are in a pair of Class 37s from Armstrong Powerhouse. I thought I heard something. Oh, there's a 170 there. Hi. Hi. How are you? If you don't have a destination, you probably should. Today, we are going to be driving the Wherry Lines from, um, with the, that, that them place, Armstrong Powerhouse. And as you'll be able to see, we are clearly using the ZZA snowplow. This is intended to be my Christmas video. How Christmassy exactly you can go is, uh, is is a bit questionable when it comes to a train simulator. A train simulator is a train simulator is a train simulator sort of thing, you know. But nonetheless, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be driving this, uh, pushing this, pushing this lovely, lovely snowplow from um, just trains. Now the snowplow, the ZZA, has been out for quite a while. However, it has recently received an update, and I must say, the first impression of it, it looks pretty nice. It does look pretty nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like the snow covering on it. It's alright. This is obviously the AP37 pack uh, that we use being used to push it. It's one of the default scenarios that come with it. Oh, and the, the uh, snowplow is, of course... Free will cost you zero pounds and zero pence. Just trains are very keen to uh, to push this, to push the fact that it is free. Uh, to be honest, I don't blame them. I really don't. Uh, it's a nice pack, and I'm sure we're going to have a fun time driving it. Oh, it's got mini snowplows on the back. I didn't even know that. Oh, that's awesome. But anyway, uh, we're going to be taking Concrete Bob and uh, Seven Six One out on a little spin down the Wherry Lines to do some snow clearing. Uh, do we have a green signal? I didn't even check. I don't even know. I don't even know. Apparently we're limited to 45 miles an hour and we're pushing a snow plow, so... We'll go with that. Uh, that looks like a red. We're gonna pull forward to the signal, I think. And apparently you also have to drive from the rear loco. Which is interesting. So we shall do that thing. Where's the tail lights? Tail, tail, tail. That's the wrong loco. I want to be in this cab. Turn the tails. Oh, they probably were on, weren't they? You know, whatever. Right, okay. Oh, the brakes off. I don't know. Take the DRA off. Stick the master key in. AWS changeover. We oh, only do one lever in this. Oh, okay. I think I actually mentioned that before, to be honest, when I reviewed the pad. Right, put it forward. Brakes are off, indeed. Let's pull up to the signal. Oh yeah, we need to set GSMR. What are we? We are... 7 Zulu 37. 7, shut the power off. Zulu 37. And our GSMR signal number... Ah, it's green now, cool. 572. 572. Set that. And that should be our GSMR setup. Nice. Get a little bit of power on. Apparently you drive from the rear loco because obviously you one wouldn't be able to see from the front. Well you'd be able to see less because of that. And two, it's safer. Don't mind, we'll we'll jump out and have a look at the plowing um at the plowing um by default, sort of thing. In a minute, or not by default, in a minute. We'll have a look and see it ploughing. So yeah, we're just going to take a little jaunt down the wherry lines, clearing some snow today. Not that it looks like there's that much on the tracks, but you know, apparently there's the snow plough's finding some. It's slightly overpowered for, uh, for what it is, but you know, you know, we'll roll with it. The amount of snow coming up, I mean, that's what I mean by it's overpowered. Put a bit of brake on. It's been ages since I've actually driven in this in Train Sim for ages. 
Uh, for yeah, I've been saying for ages, forever. Okay, I need to shut up. But yeah, no, it's been ages since I've actually driven in Train Simulator. Most of the time I spend building stuff, or making stuff, or whatever, so, you know. It's nice to actually get out on the tracks again and actually take a jaunt up the Wary Lines. The Wary Lines is a nice route, obviously, so... Take a little ride up here. Right, we're up to 25 limit again now. Must have been a crossover there. It's hard to see, obviously, because we haven't got we haven't got view out of the cab. But if we were to jump into the front, that's all we see. Which, of course, isn't exactly particularly useful. It's kind of cool, though, but, you know, can't see anything, really. You can't see any anywhere ahead of you. You can't see anywhere ahead of you this uh, from here, even. But yeah, that windscreen would get covered in snow in real life, so we don't really want to sit there. Oh, and there's a... What's that? Oh, it's the 37 hall. Cool. Nice, actually. Do the, uh, do the Mark IIs... Oh, the Mark IIs have snow on them? No, that's a shame. That'd be cool. It just looks odd with the 37s having snow, but the, the Mark IIs not. Like I say, 45 miles an hour, apparently. 22 miles to lower stuff. Out from under the wires. And you can use the, uh, you can use the snowplow with, with any loco. It doesn't have to be the AP-37. Um, just to clarify that. They've got no special scripting. The snowplow is scripted itself. Um, so it's not like the RHTC set where you can only use it with just trains locos either. Um, up un until you get to like 35 mile an hour. You can use it with any loco and it will it will perform the exact same. I'm surprised we've not got one on the back to be honest. There's snowing. There's there's the other uh, plowing. Let's drop the hud to the small hud, shall we? If we can do that. Better we can see it better. Power. Quite impressive. Like I say, it looks a bit overpowered for the amount of snow that's actually on the rails, aka nout. But you know, whatever. We'll go with it. Can't even see 37s. It sounds alright, to be honest. The sound cut out a bit too much, but you know, I think the rumbling is that is the the plowing. And of course, the trains do supply you a version of this. I don't know if the snow affects the dynamic to the weather, quite possibly, like, such as the, um, the snow on the 37, I think that's dynamic to the weather. Um, I would assume that the snow is probably dynamic to the weather on the plow, but who knows, maybe not. Apparently these things were built on, uh, tenders, um, steam engine tenders, apparently they're like V2s or something. Quite whatever they were. The, the green one, the LNER one, the just trying to see it, I think. Uh, how true that is, I don't know, that's what I've just heard. Yes, if, 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 if you've uh, if you, you noticed, I've, I have watched Alan Thompson's video, yeah, so I'm not trying to reproduce this video, it's just like, I've literally got nothing else that I can drive this thing on at short notice for Christmas, so, you know, it's about the best we can do. Like it or lump it, I guess, you know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so bad at creating video. I mean, it was, it was only an idea I came up with yesterday, something. Because I hadn't downloaded the, the new Snowplow. I had the old one. Because, like I say, this thing's been out for ages. Donkey's years. But, AWS a lot. But, you know, they've, they've recently upgraded it to give it more liveries and the, the snow effects on it and everything. So. You know, it's nice now. It's nice that it's they've actually done that. Especially the fact that it's remained free. That's the other good thing about it. It was free, but it was also available with the, um... What's it called? The Bristol to Exeter route? You could, if you had that route, you automatically had the snowplow anyway. But if you didn't have that route, you could download this from the Just Trains website for free. But now they've gone and actually updated it and made it a bit better and it does look better I must say the only thing I would say it'd be nice if we had a nice build up of snow on the front of the plow 
you often see them after they've been ploughing and look like just a massive chunk of snow on the front of the plough. I get why they didn't do that. I don't know if you can make it quite that dynamic, but it'd be cool. It'd be cool if it built up as you went along. Right, there we go. Look at the power. So back up the speed a bit. Yeah, the, the, the loco can do with some, uh, some more snow on the front now, but oh well. Good old Bobby. Maybe someone the uh, gets stuck to the nameplate a little bit. <laughs> we have a heater. A heater speed. Come on. We don't need any headlights. Um, I've not seen an instrument on so this headlight switch. Must be up here. Where's the brightest day? Actually, that's kind of cool. Moderate. We'll go, we'll go to brightest, but you know. It's kind of cool. Moderate nonetheless. In our arm. In our arm. In our arm, yeah. In our arm disconnect. Uh, we can't, oh, we can't mess about with the wiper. Do that. Move up a bit into uh there you go. Into slow position. It is very nice in 37. Up the door. We need some ventilation in here, don't we? Definitely on a day like this. Oh that looks cool. The trees. <laughs> Got a hole. Oh, look at that station. Cap light. Cap light. Yeah, okay. Looks very laggy. Tell you that. Interior. Ooh, okay. Oh, you can't mess about with him. I didn't know if you could turn off one side. Cap lights. Oh, it only does your driver side one. Cool. That should be pretty cool. You know, you don't want both of them going, really. Is that dirt on the window? Yeah, it is. I wasn't sure if it was dirt on the window or rust on the bonnet. I think there might be a bit of rust on the bonnet, to be fair, though. That buff. Go up by the by the level crossing and watch this go across it. Ooh, is that snow? Oh no, it's just slightly damaged paintwork on the crossing. Yay! Everybody's covered in snow on the platforms now. Rundle. And there goes the signal. Oh no, it's the signal it didn't actually take that long to uh, to drop either. If we watch it, if we watch that one. Hey, there it goes. I'm sure I heard it as well. I want to... Do the gates make a sound? I can't remember if the gates make a sound along here. Put a bit of power on. Do they open individually as well? Do they even open? I'm assuming they open. They've got to, surely. Right? Shouldn't be birds. Well, I guess it could be the odd bird chirping. But... Maybe they don't. <laughs> but then the car is stopped still, so you know. Surely if they weren't going to open, the cars wouldn't be stopped there. Unless they're just placed in. And might be just placed in. Actually. I don't know. Hey, there goes the snow again. <laughs> Starting up. It's a bit uh, puffy still. Let's go back to this constant stream like it was a minute ago. Is that because we've gone away from it? We've messed it up now. Oh, there we go. It's a bit better. Still a bit. Oh, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Do, do, just do shift D. Drive shift D or. I don't know. 
something. Maybe. Ah, control shift is a screenshot. Oh, oh, control S even. Control shift. Station. I don't know the where it ends, so I can't say the station things. But you know, we've got a station, and then we've got that swing bridge. First of two. Are the track rumble sounds dynamics to the bridge or the stock? I would assume the bridge, because otherwise you wouldn't get it on most stock. But maybe the maybe. The, I don't know. Oh, there's this as well. I didn't know about that one. Quite cool actually. I'm quite liking this. I thought I'd get a bit bored, but actually, it's quite nice. Isn't it? Lubricator. Although most of the grease that is lubricating is probably not really doing a lot right today. It's probably all being washed off by the snow. You know what, actually? We're going to thrash it to the 60 and see what it looks like full speed. I know you shouldn't, but we, we might as well test this theory. And listen to the crap. Look at that! Look at that! That's impressive. And it's actually, it, it is actually going further back now. Look at that. Look, it's actually reaching the, um, reaching our rear loco now. Snow spray. That's awesome. That's like going halfway down our loco. We can actually see it properly now, sort of thing, from the, from the cab. Uh, track side view or in the platform view, you know. Hmm. Impressive. Impressive indeed. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Here's something. I'm guessing it's just ambience. Thing, huh? 37's just emerge. Anyway, we'll probably bring it down to speed now. Or it derails. Because it probably would in real life, to be fair. Probably why they're limited. Because if you hit a massive snow drift at 60 mile an hour, bang! You can just imagine it. Chaos. Absolute chaos. Here's the brake here. Here we go. Here we go. Read them. That's, that's the one I was thinking of. I'm sure the swing bridge is just after reading somewhere. I think it might be that 20 limit, maybe. Maybe. Or it might be just after it. Somewhere around there, I believe. Mm. 
But yeah, for a free product, I've got literally no complaints about this snowplow. It's awesome. It's amazing. Like, it would have been nicer if maybe the the, the particle effect of snow could have been a slight more convincing. But at the same time, particle effects are quite difficult from what I've seen in Great Snowplow. You've never really seen particle effects that are particularly convincing. Some of the clags nice. Um, on some powerhouse, but a lot of the stuff is a bit near. So, you know, we, we, I think we can live with this. It's not bad, really. Get covered in snow. As well. AWS, right, we must have done it before. Our 15 limit coming up then. You'd have to have a very good route knowledge person here. Oh, yeah, there he is. You can see it. Yeah, you'd have to have very good route knowledge personnel with you to ensure that you're, you're doing the correct speed limits at the correct time. Because if you don't know the route, you're not gonna you're not gonna have no chance of driving it. You're not gonna see anything. Through signal. Right, let's start with a bit of braking. bit more braking I think. A little bit more. 60% brake. If release now and be get away with it. Ooh, might need a bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Release again. Perfect. There we go. Dear week you. Hello, Mr. Signalman. Thank you for letting us through. Have a very Merry Christmas, sir. I've got no idea what the date of this scenario actually is. Apparently it was based on a real run, though, so, you know. Probably after Christmas, you'll find. But, you know, whatever. Here we go, right. We can go up to at least the 20 limit now. Probably go a bit faster and then break again, I reckon. You, I mean, you probably should go up to any limit. You know, we'll, get, we'll, we'll make the most of what we can, when we can, sort of thing. And uh, throttle off. And it idle down a bit. Bit of braking. Especially with a run like this, to be fair, you should probably really sort of follow the speed of him, drive ahead of yourself sort of thing. There we go. Like so. Ah, I put the brake the wrong way. Oof. Oops. That snow, that shelter is sinking by the way. You may want to do something about that. I, I pressed the wrong key and I braked instead of released the brake. Give me a thrash up in here. I know we shouldn't because of the ammeter and all that, but actually the ammeter is doing alright. Okay. Surprised. But then again, we haven't got a massive load, so that was a 156, I believe, which went past. We've not got a massive load, really, so yeah. But two locos, one tiny snowplow isn't that much. I mean, I imagine there's probably quite a fall sometimes on the snow. Uh, but yeah. In a way, I can't imagine. Oh, look, there's a, be a uh, chick rail there. Must be a flange in case somewhere then. In a way, I, I, I would I sort of think that 20 mile an hour, would, it would struggle to actually get anything sort of out of the way, to push anything out of the way. Now, the only problem here is that I think it's going to put the push plow snow on the bridge, which of course it shouldn't do, because clearly there is nothing. But nonetheless, it looks nice anyway. It does look pretty good. Yeah, clearly there's no snow on here, but you know. That grass is... Uh, oh, it's weeds. They, they, surely they should have a bit of snow on them, though. The reeds. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, well. I didn't build the root. I didn't build the asset either, so, you know. Yeah. 
keep it in control. And I'm sure that most of the time they would have one on the back as well, would they not? So I'm very surprised that there's only one snowplow here. Snow's actually a bit more consistent than it was earlier as well at this slow speed. I thought the fast speed was more... There you go, there's puffy now, it's sort of... We need a bit more power, I guess, then. Get a bit more speed up. Way that went high. It's a shame it's not sort of dynamic, and sometimes it goes certain heights, and other times it just sort of rockets up into the sky. That'd have been cool, to watch it sort of dynamically move about. Hey, if anybody was standing at the crossing, they're covered in snow now. The only problem with the snowplow is that you're covering this track as well, so it seems a bit pointless really in some ways. It's alright if you come along this track behind. But if you're going down the one the other way, you've got all the snow to go through that's just been left by us. Not particularly helpful, I would can't imagine. Right, we have a 60 now. Let's not go quite all the way. Nice wobbly aerials. I mean, it is cool that they're here. For 25 quid, though, I don't know if it's really sort of. You know, I wouldn't expect to pay 25 quid for a wobbly area or something. Because with the up, with the the sound pack, to be honest, the one with sort of like the wary lines wasn't bad. And you know, that was 25 quid for the up for the basic, basically an enhancement pack of the third of the Kuju hanging. Yeah, I mean, it was basically an enhancement pack of the Kuju 37 and um, and a Rube for 25 quid, which is the same price as what this is. So, you know, when you put it like that, a bit pricey, really. pylons because they've got no wires on them. Could have used something slightly better, but hey. Whatever. I guess they wanted to probably keep requirements down, I guess. Show me about the, the glitchiness of the, some of the textures. Oh, the snow stops. <laughs> See ya! Bye! Have fun plowing! Bit more Brotel. Brotel in the hotel.
Haddiscombe? Haddiscombe, I think. I don't know why I had so much trouble in reading that. I couldn't see it properly. I think it was Haddiscombe, though. Seven miles, pretty much. Just over, but you know. It's close enough to be seven miles. By the time I finish describing why I think it's seven miles, it will be seven miles. Because now, it is seven miles. I am definitely a genius. This must be the uh, the second swing bridge, you know? Right? Maybe? Probably? Could be? Possibly? I don't know. We'll see. 30 mile an hour. A bit faster than the other one if it is. I like that pilot. The, the telegraph pilot, sorry, not pilot. It's not an outright pilot, so it is. Yeah, that could be the swing bridge because it's not a very long distance that it's uh, that it's uh, down the speed limit for. So. on. To be fair, we should probably be performing a brake test in this kind of weather. I think, uh, I seem to remember watching a video that said if you're not stopping, if you're stopping at stations regularly, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is the other but if you're not stopping at stations, you must perform a brake test every 10 minutes or something by slowing down 10 mile an hour, just to sort of clear your, clear your brakes of, of uh, rain and um, snow and stuff, between the wet and the snowy and icy conditions and all that. Slow down every few minutes. I'm still playing that, by the way, kind of. I've not played it in a couple of days, uh, but that's more because I've been busy with other things. But you know, I'm, I'm still drawn back to uh, East Coast Way on Trains and World. Still sort of interests me to play it. My headphones are apparently breaking up. I've got a piece of them. cover, covering on my arm, wrist, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I need to get some new headphones. I do need to get some new headphones. But sometimes they're, they're, they're not actually played up that much today, but sometimes they sometimes they play up quite a bit. I don't know why, it's just like, yeah, it would be really nice to drive down here in a 156 in the evening weather. I should go and buy burning arms. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to go buy burning arms. I don't know if there is a scenario for that, though. I'll have to go and have a look in a minute. Once I finish recording this video. 
and then I might have to drive that myself. Right, four miles. up a bit. Okay, my headphones have started playing up now, so now I've said about that. So I get the, the, the sound starting crackling up with the, the, uh, the right ear. Three miles. We've done a miles. We've, do we've done a miles, yes. Definitely. English 100. This may be my last video this year. There'll probably be one more after this that will be uploaded. Um, maybe do another one after Christmas sometime. Uh, but yeah, no, I just thought I'd do this because obviously it's wintry. It's near approaching Christmas. Might as well do something to celebrate. It's hard to really know what to do with a train simulator sort of thing. You can't really theme it particularly much. Uh, it's just driving trains. You're sort of your bog standard. But you know, we can do something like this. We can play the holiday game of gnomes or the holiday express as well, sort of thing. We've got both of them. The problem with them though is that there's so many videos on, on YouTube of them out there that do you really want to see the same thing again? It's pretty generic really, isn't it, by this point, isn't it? So, you know. I thought I'd do something a bit different. I'd say a bit different. There's probably been a lot of coverage on this snowplow out on YouTube. Uh, in places, different, various channels. Like I say, it's free, so everybody's probably gone, yo, swamped in on it. Everybody's probably got a copy of this now. But, you know, you need enough to have the AP Class 37 to play this scenario. You can use default um, locos and stuff by the same things. They've done, they've done a version with the AP 37 and a version with the Kuju 37 by the looks of things. So that's nice. It's interesting though that they've they've obviously discontinued, if you didn't know, they have officially apparently um, announced that they're discontinuing the Ultimate Class 37 project. But now they are using the AP one to make scenarios. So it's interesting that. Interesting turn of events really. Anyway, so I've got, got in the cab just in time as well. That's probably for our... Right, okay, we got... That's a yellow, but that looks like a fixed yellow. So I'd say the next one probably will be green anyway. But we will slow down for it, because who knows? There may be a train in lower stuff that we need to wait for. There may be something. But I reckon that's probably just the speed limit. Or just for the Thing. Yeah, that'd be more likely than big signal. But yeah, until we can see it, um, we won't assume anything. We may not even see it in this from this loco, to be honest. It's nice when the snow drops, because then I can actually see ahead. Tell what's going on. Uh, I need to bring up that the, the key bind. Right, we have a green signal. Oh, we could have seen it from the cab anyway, cool. But nonetheless, 
We'll get some uh, some thrash going again. Snow clearing thrash. And we've got 10 mile an hour limit coming up anyway in a sec, but you know. We've got time to get a bit of speed up. Press is kicked in again. Cut the power. Bring in some brakes. Bring in about 50% brake, I reckon. That do. Yeah, now all, all over the uh, all over the cable wire, the cable run, the signal cables as well. I bet they'll be hard to pull with all this snow on them. I can imagine that it would make the snow would make them hard to. Uh, Hard to pull. So I was down in time for the sign pretty much, but apparently the sign is in the wrong place. I'm going to count it as a victory though, of the speed victory, to be honest. That may be the first time we've actually sped according to the game, but according to the sign we were alright, or where the position of it on the HUD at least. Oh, we're going over here, are we? Oh, fair enough. Oh, we're going into the, the platform. Have they got, now got to change the snowplow around? Have they got to turn it around and put it on the other end so we can go back? So that's why they usually have two. They usually have one on the other end so that you don't have to, that you don't have this problem. Because now if we want to plow this plow the other way, um, we've got to get so we, we haven't got a plow. We've got a mini plow, but you know it's not going to be as effective as this. Thing. We might we might as well uh, give one part people. Give the people one last spray possession, you know. Just ah, take that! Take that! Your clothes are ruined! Take that! Sort of thing. That looks like there was an extra track there once, yeah. Once they Because this is platform 432, and then one is covered in snow. Something. Which is a shame that they're taking out a platform, but you know. Whatever. Yeah, it must be about eight. It was, I think it's 7.9 mile now, like an off point for the snow. It looks like it, at least. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. Thank you for being the train we're using, I guess. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then that's fair enough. Just, just have a good time and, you know, stay safe sort of thing. Uh, and yeah, I shall see you in the new year. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and we will see you all next time. Goodbye!